Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about the top 23 players in this year's FIBA World Cup. Shout out Hoops Hype for this list. We're kind of going to do a little reaction thing here. I was doing some research for this and I was like, oh, you know, love Hoops Hype. Link's in the description. Let's get right into it. Who do you guys think is the, the best player in your opinion? And let's get right into it. They're putting at number 23, Dylan Brooks, which this list I have not fully gone through it. I wanted it to be a surprise, and I'm hoping it's a good mix of some Euro guys, because there are a lot of Euro guys in this tourney that are better than some of the NBA players. But Dylan Brooks is arguably one of the best defenders, and don't be surprised if during this tourney, he has a scoring output, and definitely could lead to him having a very confident season this upcoming year. But again, 3 and D specialist. And if you guys haven't already been watching Italy, Simone Fontecchio. Woo! Guess where he's from? Pescara. Guess where my father's from? Pescara, Italy. Okay, this guy's from my family's hometown. Put on a shooting ex exhibition in the Italy's first game. And he's kind of their superstar at this point. Like the best player on the Italian team. And he can't... I think he's going to get more minutes this year. I think it took him a full year of getting integrated into the NBA system and we started to see him get unleashed at the end of last year so I think it's going to carry over especially with him getting some runs with the Italian national team the Nikola Vucevic for Montenegro they got a win and this guy uh, you know having centers like Vuce and Jonas Valanciunas are, are guys like really who really help you in Euro style international competitions like this and Vooch is great. He's actually like a decent defender at the in these levels of competition. Three level scorer. He's like an absolute superstar out there. So these rankings right now, I agree with them so far. Next up, Patty Mills. I feel like this there, there's other guys that I would have had in front. Okay. And that's maybe just me. But I think personally, like I love Patty Mills. I just think he's a little too old, but I want to see what they said right here. Like, don't get me wrong. Pat, Patty Mills is one of, if not like the better guards in FIBA history, but this is also a guy that, I don't know. I feel you can make an argument that at this stage, Nunez for Spain is better you know willie hernan gomez or even dennis schroeder bro i might take dennis schroeder over petting those i don't know if they schroeder's in this yet i probably is but willie hernan gomez this is great he's a huge rebounder i actually think hernan gomez is lower than vooch i'm sorry okay v vooch is better than hernan gomez so this is the first one that i'm saying is wrong but again he's one of the like most successful players in FIBA history with one World Cup, two Euro baskets, one bronze medal, one Euro basket MVP award, two Spanish league titles. Jonas Valanciunas at 18, I agree with this one. Dog, okay. Literally Lithuania with him and DeMontis Sabonis are dogs, but Sabonis won't be there this year. But either way, Jonas Valanciunas is going to carry this team. Jordan Clarkson at 17, I like this. Literally, the Philippines are competitive. I'm not going to say it's just because of Jordan Clarkson, but like, Jordan Clarkson has a bit, it does like a lot. And he's like a legit superstar. Of course, see like Dennis Schroeder had to be above Patty Mills. And people don't realize Dennis Schroeder is like, an, you know, an average to an above average NBA starter or NBA player in FIBA standards. He's like a superstar. He's like one of the best players in the world on like the international stage. Like Dennis Schroeder takes his game to another level. I'm not even kidding, guys. It's it's actually like quite remarkable to to watch. Tyrese Halliburton. We we can't argue there. We can't argue there. And I know everyone's gonna be like, well, he's the best player, okay? But like, it's international basketball, so he really doesn't have any accolades to his name. So, but like, that will change. Bogdan Bogdanovich, of course, baby. This guy, literally, this guy got to the NBA from what he was doing on an international stage. He he's literally, you know the best player on Serbia with Jokic not playing. So I agree very much with this. 
RJ Barrett hasn't done much this tournament, but he is on paper one of the best players in this tourney as a complete two-way wing, probably one of the most athletic, strongest, could do everything, handle the rock, defend every position, should be like the MVP, arguably, if it's not Shea, obviously, okay, who should be the best player in this tournament. Rudy Gobert, we all know he does, he blocks a lot, he's massive, it's Rudy Gobert, even though he had a terrible first game, but hey, he used to be one of the top players. Brandon Ingram, of course, baby, you gotta love him. He's playing, like they said, that Kevin Durant, Carmelo Anthony role. He's going to be a dog for Team USA. Franz Wagner, he got hurt. But, dude, we all know who he is. Franz Wagner is one of the best in the world. Just 21 years old. He's going to continue to grow for this German team. Did you guys see Josh Giddy? He looked like an absolute animal out there for Australia. And Australia knows they got something special there. And they got Dante Exum and Josh Green and the other guys out there. But, hey. Definitely, like they said in this article, best young player award is probably going to be going to Josh Giddy. Mikhail Bridges. I actually do agree that Mikhail Bridges is probably the guy who's the, the dog for Team USA over Brandon Ingram. He's like the complete player, gives you defense, spiritual leader, and stuff like that. I guess talent wise and stuff, Jaron Jackson's better. I would have this flip personally. But Jaron Jackson Jr., I really want to see how he does. Hey, Car Anthony Towns, dude, the Dominican Republic are, I guess, a legit threat with Car Anthony Towns. And shout out, shout out him for beating my my team, Argentina. And now he's got the Dominican Republic at number 10 in the FIBA power rankings and like legit just carrying a team, putting it all on his back. Larry Marketing, number five. I mean, Finland got dicked, but you know, you gotta love Larry Marketing. Jalen Brunson, no. I have Jalen Brunson way lower, okay? No. Every other Team USA guy is in front of Jalen Brunson. Shea is not top. This is not number one. Wow. I don't. Anthony. Okay. 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 And then Luka Doncic. I agree. I agree. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. I agree with all that. Luka, you can't argue. Can't argue there. Can't argue there. Can't argue there. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Hope he's out.